Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Friday Business Intelligence Tip. Today, we've got a good one for you. We're going to be continuing our series on using Excel to query SQL Server data. But instead of the past couple sessions where I've used the newer tools with inside uh, Excel of Power Query to query the data, we're going to go back to using a tool that's uh, the older component inside Excel. And what I find is actually quite a bit easier. And uh, I know in talking to many people that have used both, they're finding it the same way. So I'm going to go back to using a tool called Microsoft Query that's embedded as part of it. And we're going to use that. But the reason I'm showing you that is I find it's much easier to be able to use the rest of Excel to drive those queries from it. So we're going to continue our process of creating a report uh, and then using values inside of Excel to, to pass to that query. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump on over to uh, my other screen and we'll go from there. So here we are in Excel. Now I'm using Excel uh, Office 365, so it might look a little different for you depending on what you're doing. Now, what I'm going to do to query the data today is I'm going to go up to the data menu, just like we did in our past episodes, and I'm going to say get data. In the past, I went to this from database and we selected SQL Server that way. Instead, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to where it says from other sources, and I'm going to say from Microsoft Query. Now, when I do that, it's going to bring up a dialogue to say, ask what is your data source? So I've got data sources out here, but I'm going to go ahead and create a new one from scratch just so you can see what that process looks like. So I'm going to say new data source and say, OK, you give it a name, whatever you want to call it. I'll connect to our dashboard gear database. I'm just going to call it dashboard gear um, and for passing it in things. Oftentimes I try not to use spaces for the names of things. So I'm going to take the space out and just call it dashboard gear that way. Um, I'm going to pick the driver, which is the, there's different ways that you can connect to databases. Those of you that are more technical understand there's OLADB drivers, there's ODBC drivers, there's native drivers, there's just different drivers. And depending on your machine, you're going to see some different things. I'm just going to take the one that's labeled SQL Server here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say connect. It's going to ask me for my server name. What I'm going to do is I am going to so type in my... Uh, laptop that I've got here, my Surface Book, so I better spell it right. And once I have that, it's going to ask me to authenticate. Now, there's two types of authentication for most database platforms. The first type is called uh, trusted connection, and that's just going to use your Windows uh, authentication to uh, authenticate. You can check that if you want to do that. Or you can type in a SQL Server-based ID and password and uncheck that box if you'd like. I have access to my database, so I'm just going to keep it at trusted authentication. The next option I'm going to do is under the options database, I'm going to come down here and pick the database I'm going to connect to. I'm going to connect to our dashboard gear database for a Lawson system. So I'm going to pick the one called Lawson DW. And so now what I'm going to do is just say OK. Now once I do that, I can select a default table or I can just select OK. Now I'm going to pick OK here. And what that does is it adds the data source uh, to my list. So I have dashboard gear there. Now what I'm going to do is just select OK on that. And it's going to ask me what table I'd like to query. Now you can um, you, you have to pick a table here. But often what I want to do is actually run a SQL query that I have prepared ahead of time. So if you have SQL or no SQL, you can pick any table. And I suggest just picking a, a small one. In my case, I'm going to actually just say select all from this account unit structure table. And I've used this one in past uh, demos as well. So when I select that, I can select the fields I want and do next. I then can filter my data. So in my case, I want to select the account units for a particular company. So I'm just going to say company equals, and then I can give it a, a value here. I'll say company equals one, for instance. Um, if you want to make it a parameter, you can just say question mark. And so because I want the user to be asked the question of what it is they'd like to return, I'm going to put a question mark there. 
And then when I select next, I can sort this as if I want. I'm not going to in this case. And I can do next. Now, I can at this point say finish to return the data to Excel. But I want to show you what it looks like inside Microsoft Query. So I'm going to select the second option, which is view, view data in edited in Query. Now it's going to ask me when I say finish for the parameter. So I'm going to select company one. Now when I say OK, it opens that query up in Microsoft Query. And you'll notice down here it says company and then the value is some square brackets. What, what goes inside the brackets are what you want the user to be prompted with for that query. So in this case, I could say enter a company or whatever text I'd like to put in there. I've got that in there now. Now what I'm going to do, if, and if you want to, you can edit the SQL through the SQL button. In this case, I'm just going to say return the data to Excel. It's going to ask me for that company. I'll say company one, say OK. Excel is going to ask me where to put that value. So I'm going to say cell C7. I've selected in the C7 and it shows up uh, there and my values are there. Now, the whole point of this conversation, if I, if I just wanted to say refresh here and have it ask me for a company, company three, it works uh, to do that. And so it is now a parameterized query inside of Excel where I can do that. But what I want to do is make it a little more report like and user friendly for the end user. So I could give it a title. Maybe it's my I call this my account unit listing. And I'm going to say I want to say company. And say company one that's there. What I want to do is whenever someone puts in a number here in this cell like two, I want it to run the query that's here. Now how you do that is you go back to the data menu and you say queries and connections. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up my list of queries in here. And if I right click on that and do properties, under the definition is a parameter section. So if I select parameters, down here on the parameters is an option to get the value from a following cell. So I'm going to say cell, what is that? D3. I think if I just click that, it'll do that. So cell D3. And then the checkbox that says here is refresh automatically when I change that cell. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to say OK and say OK again. So now cell D3 has a 2 in it, so it's there. So if I come back up here and I type in a 3 and then I tab out of there, it did company 3. If I do a 1 and tab out of there, company 1. So what that's doing is passing that value to Microsoft Query to Query SQL Server. Now, it doesn't just have to be one parameter. I could have had all kinds of parameters where it starts with or ends with or filters this or that or drives whatever in your query. So the key is you just set up your query in Microsoft Query. You put question marks for the values on that, and that will create parameters over here. And then in the query definition under the properties, we linked that query parameter to the cell that's there by selecting the parameter and then selecting the cell that drives it. So to create to create our queries, it's as simple as that. So you, you can hopefully see all kinds of use cases where you could create spreadsheets and queries that extract data from everywhere. This is a very powerful tool in our Dashboard Gear Toolkit in that we create many tables and views that are already optimized for single table queries. So whether you're doing financial statements or turnover reports in HR, or whatever it is you're doing, usually you can create a very simple query or a simple table selection, add a few parameters, and your data is dropped right into Excel. Hopefully you found today's session uh, helpful. And as always, if you do have any suggestions, feel free to send us an email at info at dashboardgear.com. And until next week, keep on reporting.